What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero. And Lizzie. And welcome back to Let's Play Jungle Batuka by Despair. In the last episode, we finished up exploring the amusement the park. The island, yeah. Right? Or, yeah, the new island. Uh, we checked out Monami's house with yeah. her suspicious things inside that she doesn't want us to see. Yeah, yeah. Or no rather, kidding. yeah. Um... <laughs> And then we went to the roller coaster where everyone was, and now yeah. we're all on a roller coaster. We forced Soda on there, and we're about to—I don't know—see what called? this roller coaster ride's gonna. Yeah, be Yeah, see where we're gonna potentially go if we're gonna make it alive. You know, I'm really like, excited for this art that's obviously upcoming right uh, now. Ah, yes, the art. But regardless, shall we hop into it? Yes, we shall. All right. When the Monokuma shout, the roller coaster took off at maximum speed. <gasps> Aww. Aww. I love the art. Let's take let's take a second let's to enjoy. Take a check. It. Okay, so okay. all right, all right. So let, let's start in the front. Hinata, he's like clearly a little scared, but enjoying himself, right? Yeah. He's got his eyes closed, but he's like in the front, like he's probably he looks like he's smiling, right? Yeah, yeah. He looks like he's enjoying himself. Sonia's having a blast. She's loving it. Clearly enjoying herself. She's probably gonna be like, oh my gosh, we're gonna totally have like five amusement parks back in that country when I get right, back. Right, right. I also like that her hair's in a ponytail. Oh yeah. Which yeah, was smart. Cool. I feel kind of bad for Nanami though, because it's probably whipping her in the face. Yeah, that's true. That's that Speaking Nanami, of the second row. Yeah, Nanami looks a little too content for a roller coaster. Yeah, she looks like she's just really calm. Like, oh, you know, I'm about to take a nap right now. <laughs> well, I'm, you know, 10 feet in the air. Like, she is always the tired. She is always tired. You know, maybe she's just taking this opportunity to take a nap. And I think it's particularly funny, like, uh, what's it called? Juxtaposed with Soda, who's clearly uh, not having, not a, having time. a great time. <laughs> but uh, then we go to the third row. Look at look at Gundam. Look at Tanaka. I know his scarf is like blown in the I wind. I know. But look at his face. He looks yeah. like he's suffocating. I know. Like, he looks like he's super scared, which is really funny for someone who claims to be like, I'm a dark. Yeah, I've been like, on a like roller coaster in hell. Right. Because <laughs> he's having fun. Oh, oh look, like cozy smile. Himself. And then look at Komaida. Komaida's like, oh, He's just like cheeky. He's like having a good time. And then and Awadi's like... Awadi is having a ball. She's having a blast. Her shirt is almost like off. Yeah. That's a little concerning. I would show a little bit more... Uh, I would... Try to keep her clothes on a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But she probably doesn't care. And same with Nidai. They have like the same position. Yes. They're just so excited and happy. They're so, they're so meant for each other. I know. But I love how Nidai has like the little screws coming off. Oh, I never I even noticed like, that. Like, oh, yeah. that's so funny. <laughs> but regardless, it looks like they're having a bit of fun. Yeah. Overall. Now, the question is, where is it going to go all I know. Long? Fun won't last long. <laughs> okay. Yahoo! <laughs> I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh, that's old, uh. <laughs> What overwhelming G-Force? It feels like all the screws in my body are going to fly off. Be still, my heart. Literally. But this is so much fun. I, I, I'm gonna die. Let me die. Oh, oh so da. Wait. Oh, was that's that all it? there is to it. Was it really just a roller They really just went around and came back, like. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks, there's gotta, there's gotta be some meaning to it. There's gotta uh, be some meaning to it. I don't know. I don't feel like Monokuma would make them or want all of them to do that at the exact same time. You know what I bet? I bet while they were on the roller coaster, something else was happening. Uh, some sort of adjustment, some sort of opening, some sort of alternate to somewhere else. And he made sure everyone was on the roller coaster so that no one else could find that. it or see it. Yeah. Interesting. There's gotta be a meaning to it. Like, Monokuma, <laughs> Monokuma doesn't just do crap like that. Yeah, yeah. Right? He's not just a nice guy for, right? the, for the heck of it. <laughs> so. All right, we've arrived. How was it? Wasn't that fun? So it's finally over. That was a little too intense. <laughs> hey, hey, let's go to one more time. I agree, <laughs> once more. <laughs> <laughs> no, no friggin' way. Hey, more importantly, where's our treat? Yep. Hey, where's my treat? Where's my treat? <laughs> <laughs> None of me, the dog. <laughs> oh yeah, right, here you go. The treat is a <gasps> file. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. It says uh, Mirai. Huh? So this is maybe like a future foundation file of some yeah, sort? Maybe it's the found it file from. <gasps> the, what the if we symbol? find out that Hinata doesn't have a talent? Oh. It's the same symbol that's on the door of the ancient rune. If so, this file must be. a file from the future foundation. Will we be able to find out who they are if we look at this? Hmm. <laughs> Is it right if I check inside? 
<laughs> sure thing, do whatever you like. Dozo. Dozo. We gathered around Komaida as he received the file, and stared at him intensely as he carefully turned the pages. Are we getting to look at him too? <gasps> Hype! Super cool. I love that they kept it from opening right to left. Yeah, yeah, same. <clears throat> Yo. Home Street Academy ironically became the site for the killing school How much of this can you, like, actually read? Yo, look, that's from DR1. Yeah! Remember the breakfast meetings oh and stuff? Oh my gosh, Isn't dude! Isn't that with, um... Oh, that's when Monokuma was gonna explode because Owada attacked him. Yeah, yeah. Him. Oh, and this is all from <clears throat> the, like... Yeah. Oh my gosh, I miss these guys! Oh. How much of this can I read? Oh, man, this is so difficult to see. I know, it's really tiny. I can't tiny. make out the characters, but... It, I can make out some it's, of the Hiragana. it's Japanese. It's definitely Japanese, yeah. <clears throat> um... But some of it seems to be censored out, I think, is the, is what... It's like, oh, what if this part of it's encoded? So there's some oh. sort of like code that you have to crack. That would be really oh, interesting. Guys, this is about the end. Oh yeah, you're right. That is at the end of DR1. That's so cool. Okay, so. Oh my gosh. Oh man, so many feels. I know. Not disgusting. This like one picture of all of them gathered around the breakfast table. It's like right everyone's still like alive and wow. So this does clearly set some sort of timeline, right? Yes. Right. Yes. Um, yes. So, Kibogamine Academy ironically became the site for the killing school life. The mastermind behind the plan locked the students inside the academy and forced them to kill each other. The students who were pushed to their limit eventually reached a state of heightened paranoia. And that's how the killing began. The killings committed by those students lasted several days. But at a certain point, the curtain suddenly fell. A group of students united and staged a counterattack against the mastermind, who paid with their life. With this, the six students who survived were able to escape the academy. Oh my gosh, are we gonna get information about what happened to them? That after? would be so cool. Oh, high five! So we got Nagi, Asahina, Togami. Oh my gosh! Oh, we might finally find out what happened to Togami. Togami, yeah, what, yeah. Are we, what happened to Togami? Togami. <gasps> Guys, um, look at them. Oh, shoot, what's I her name? Them. Fukawa? Fukawa. <gasps> Shout out to Kirigiri. Kirigiri, 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 my girl. And then, of course, the Togami. But back to Kirigiri. More importantly, Kirigiri. Hey, aren't these photos on the left? Photos of the six people who survived? Then what does this mean? Why is he in this photo? He's totally talking about Kogami. Togami? Oh, yeah. Because they have the name, right? Oh, fair. So it's like, yeah. Yeah, I looked down at where Komaida was pointing. Yeah. Huh? Aww. He was much thinner, as if he was an entirely different person, but he looked exactly like someone we, someone we knew. <laughs> Um, Aww, I missed I missed this Togami. I missed this Togami too. Ma yeah. daro. <laughs> the ultimate affluent progeny, Togami Byakuya. He looked exactly like him, the first victim on this island. Exactly like him. No, no voice hanging. This definitely looks like Togami. Why is Togami's photo in here? This, what does this mean if Komaida's stumped at first? Yeah. Like, what's this killing school trip that they're talking about? It looks like the killings we were involved in resembled a set of killings that happened before. And that took place inside Hope's Peak Academy. Oh man, I still like calling it Kiyogami Academy. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Hold on, do these baka, baka, do these killings actually happen inside the Hope's Peak Academy? That's not possible, there's no way the teachers or the police would let that happen. However, what if the Future Foundation, World Ender, was the one who initiated this? You mean that organization was the one who took over Hope Speak Academy then? That's not possible. How stupid. If Togami were still alive, we would have been able to learn the details of this. How unfortunate. Of course that's what he's thinking yeah, about. Yeah, he's like, oh man. It's not like, oh, he died or anything. Like, it's like, oh, we, we could have known about this earlier. However, we lost our memories, correct? That should apply to to that should have applied to Togami as well. Unless he was a traitor. I don't think so. Yeah. I'm boring. I mean, it's boring, but like, I'm just, just throwing it I out know, there. Just I actually it think out that there. someone might be like, oh, Togami's probably the traitor, but like, the person who's like actually the traitor is gonna say it and be like, Ah, oh, now I have a great cover, because everyone's going to think Togami's a traitor, so no one's going to suck me. We'll yeah. see. Also, Togami never said a word about such a past actually existing. Well, he was killed before he could. So he became the first victim before he could tell us about any of this. Oh, 
perhaps that's what Togumi was planning to talk to me about. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe? Maybe that means Hanamura's? The... the traitor? Uh, no, because Hanamura accidentally killed... Uh, Togumi. I mean, I guess that's like kind of like <clears throat> the story I mean, story I remember like accidentally, said, but like, yeah. But... I don't know. Just throw, it throws some sort of shade on Hanamura, yeah. potentially. If like he knew that Togumi potentially could do this. Yeah, yeah. Right? Oh man, flashback. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn, for a long time my life has been a living hell. Was he specifically referring to this killing school life? Was he already like cognizant of it? Honestly, I don't think so. Anyway, as long as Togumi is no longer with us, we have no choice but to ask Monokuma. How does the killing school life that occurred at Hope Speak Academy relate to this island? The only thing I can say is... <laughs> All the answers are in your school memories that were taken away. <laughs> then give them back! Give those memories back to us! <laughs> no, no. <sighs> Sorry. Well, a little tired. It's a little late. Yeah, the Future Foundation took your memories, and I can't do anything about it in my current state. That's interesting, so why yeah, can't does he, have he like do a... anything about it? Or does he have like a leveled up form? Does he have a leveled up form? Um, but also what's interesting is in his answer, he didn't deny that there wasn't a connection between the Future Foundation and the killings, or the previous killings and these this set of killings. Uh -huh. He just refused to tell what that relation was. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, in a sense, confirmed that there is a relation. Which isn't surprising, but like, yeah. any just sort of concrete are... founding is like, nice. Regardless, it's unforgivable. I will never forgive those who try to trample hope. They should all be destroyed. Yikes. Ugh, this is making sense again. How annoying. Whatever, man, just let me go back home. Where are my ship parts? Oh, who knows? They should be somewhere on this island. I have searched this island once through, but I did not find ship parts anywhere. No, the fun house should still be left. Uh... Dun dun dun. <laughs> Based on what I've heard, it seems we cannot access it unless we're all gathered together, correct? <laughs> Say kite! That means exactly this. Correct. correct! As in, like, answering the question. Ding ding! Correct! That's right, the treats you can't find yet are all hidden inside the funhouse. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Then the ship parts should be there too, right? No, not just the ship parts. He means all the treats. That also includes... Our Hope Speak Academy student profiles, which means a clue about my talent should be there too. Are we gonna have that big realization? Yeah. It might be a trap. It might be a trap, but it, it, please, it's, it's definitely, definitely a trap. trap. But, it's like we're already caught in a trap. You're then, right. Everyone, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> let's try going to the funhouse. In the. It just came. It's so way too early. This is I see. Is that really all right? The funhouse is that creepy looking building, right? But we have no other choice. I feel like uh, Sonya, like all people would be like, the creepy looking building? Let's go, let's go! Let's go! I mean, we might be able to obtain the ship parts if we go there. <laughs> and learn the secret of Hina's Oh talent. my gosh, yeah. Kaloid is never gonna let it go. I know, he's never gonna let it go. <laughs> Fine, I think we should listen to Hinata and head over to the funhouse as well. Looks like you guys have decided. <laughs> I have things to prepare, so I'll be going first. I'll see you later. I'm not really on board with this idea, but... Oh, poor Nanami. Oh, Nanami. Oh, <laughs> if everyone says they're gonna go, I guess I have no choice. I guess I have to go with everyone. That's not true. It's not true. You can always go against the grain. Yeah. Don't have to always go with the flow. Peer pressure. It's called a bandwagon fallacy. Yeah. Because everyone is doing something doesn't mean it's right. right. Plunging yourself into a trap is an act of sheer madness. <laughs> That's what makes it truly interesting. Oh, Tanaka. Yep. Then it's decided. Off to the funhouse it is. Maybe it's because we were shown a new mystery from that future foundation file, but I was panicking. <gasps> I couldn't keep still after being forced to see more mysteries that didn't make sense. I felt like I didn't even care if it was a trap. 
And because of that panic, I completely forgot. Monokuma's traps are always far beyond our imagination. Oh man. Oh, oh man. man. Oh man. I completely forgot about that. <clears throat> oh my gosh, it's already creepy music. I know. What is- was this like five thing here before? I think so. Really? Actually, I feel like it wasn't. I don't remember it being there. You might be right about that. Regardless, Honestly, let's I don't chat remember. with everyone. Yeah. Like, do all the way on the side over here. Probably forgotten by many players. <laughs> this is definitely a trap. Is it really okay if we jump in without even preparing? But the only thing we can do is go, right? There's definitely something past that point. Like you said, we don't have time to just stand and stare. Alright. Oh, what mm, That train, huh? I don't think it'll be as fun as the roller coaster. You don't say. Well, I guess whatever we find at the fun house will be worth it. <laughs> uh, worth Hopefully, it? Hopefully, maybe. It? You're feeling the excitement of this attraction, aren't you? Hmm. You got Nanami? Mm, I'm not really on board with this idea. I wonder if that but... was a pun intentionally. Wait, why? I'm not really on board. Train. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. If everyone says they're gonna go, I guess I have no choice. I guess I have to go with everyone. Stop saying that. I feel like that's important. Agreed. <laughs> the matter the action, the more interesting it is. Getting a Tanaka. Indeed. Mm -hmm. This attraction is quite unsettling. I wonder if it's alright. Probably not. Probably not. You're right. All right, what do you got to say, sold up? <laughs> I, love I love this art. This is so great. Oh my gosh, he reminds me of like a little like snail or something. A little snail. With like his like beanie as like a little shell. Shell? Like a hermit crab. I don't know. Oh, it's really weird. <laughs> the first thing to come to mind was not snail. But oh, okay. I'll but teach their own. <laughs> this ride is definitely better than the one from earlier, right? If it's more intense than that one was, it's, it's definitely too scary for me. Oh, Soda, it's okay. It's okay. <gasps> Leave Soda to me. I'll make sure to keep him in my clutches this time around as well. Aww. Ship, 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 ship. <laughs> ship, 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 ship. <laughs> now then, let's hurry up and go. And it looks like the answers you're looking for are where that train is headed. Alright. Something worth mentioning is the phrase used is Sate. Uh -huh. Which is like, uh, kind of like what a narrator will say when it's like, well, what will happen now? Or like, well, ah. what came of the situation? Or like that sort of thing, like, yeah, sorry. No, you okay, <laughs> um, again, no, Monokuma. I think we had, there was one earlier here and we got it. Did we? I thought I thought we looked here and didn't find one. But oh. Regardless, I just need to get on this train, right? <laughs> well, there's really no need to be cautious. It's not like it's gonna speed up, drop, fly, or anything else. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna believe you this time, so you better be telling the truth. I don't know how I feel I about that. I don't ever Zelda. believe Monokuma. All right, let's go. All aboard the hype train! Hype, 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 hype! <laughs> as soon as we all stepped on, the small train started slowly moving, and went inside the dim tunnel. Oh man! Oh, oh man! man. This music though. Ladies and gentlemen, this train is heading toward the fun house. That's not the monk of a voice, but I like doing that sort of like an Yeah. Voice. Also, Hinata and Nanami are sitting next to each other. How daw. How daw and that. I mean, like, we're kind of the confirmed. The confirmed Hinanami ship? ship. Yeah. <laughs> um, what are they. What is everyone looking at? I don't know. Right? I mean, it does seem like they're all looking at something. Oh shoot, we forgot a Monokuma plushie. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Allow me to guide you all to the world of surprises on this train that runs toward glory. Oh no. Oh man. Oh, oh no. man. Please be careful of where you step. Also, it's dangerous to stand up all of a sudden. I wonder why. Yeah, I know. It's probably not just like a typical like, oh, you might fall over. It's yeah. like, oh, there will be various things that could like instantly slice off your head. <laughs> yeah. You know, like. <laughs> huh. Well, it's not like you have time to do that. What? This 
Steam? Mist? What? Are they getting gassed? Are they gonna be unconscious or what? Whoa. What the heck? It, it, oh. I don't know why. Sorry, <laughs> go for it. I just haven't talked in a while, so. It, it, is this gas? D darn it! This is definitely a trap. As soon as that white smoke surrounded us, our bodies started to feel soft. Like mollusks. Like a snail. Hey! <laughs> Our brains felt like they were starting to melt into a puddle of mush. And in the end, we lost consciousness. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> Whoa. Wait, I actually like this place a lot. Just because strawberries? It's just because it's I mean, really... the, art, the art is really cool. It's like pink and fun and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. It's like pink and fun and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so oh, I bet we're in the fun house, and it's some sort of like labyrinth that we have to make it out. Oh. I wonder, I wonder if we have to do so in a time limit. Oh, that would be so fun. Oh my gosh, you're... <laughs> 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 that trust me out so much. Hmm. Uh, when I woke up, I was someplace that didn't make sense. It was clearly a place I've never seen before. My sense of reality was still hazy, so I wasn't able to react right away. Oh, we got Mekamaru with us, though. Hey. Itai Kokoa. Yo, oh, but you didn't affect him. Oh, that would be interesting. Yeah. Or, either way, we could ask him how long it's been since mm. we were gassed, right? Oh, true. Where is this? Uh, however, when I looked over at Mekamaru, <laughs> standing tall in a wide stance, my sense of reality felt even hazier. Ugh. Mm. Uh. Man, I slept good. <laughs> oh, what he, oh, what he's so chill about it. Probably yeah, she's like, ah, oh, we're all right, it's fine. Probably not even realizing. Can I eat the like strawberries in the wall? <laughs> huh? Where are we? <laughs> what the heck is this? All oh, the squads all here. Yeah, I thought we were gonna be like split up in like yeah, different sections of the labyrinth and have to meet up eventually, and then some people might not make it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> voices expressing surprise and confusion began to surround me, one after another. It seems that the others have started to wake up as well. Hmm. Why was I sleeping in a place like this? <laughs> oh well, I should just go back to sleep for a little longer. I feel that. Oh yes, me. Oh yes, me. No, don't. You seriously can't do that. <laughs> I assume that this was that gas is doing. <laughs> That gas we were forced to breathe right after the train started moving. It must have knocked us all out. And then we were brought here, huh? Oh, In that case, this must be the interior of the funhouse. Or at least made to believe that. <sighs> welcome! Welcome to Strawberry House! I love Strawberry House. <laughs> Strawberry House? Isn't this the fun house? Of course it's the fun house. Strawberry house is a part of the fun house. Ooh, I yeah, wonder if I there are other fruit flavored fruit, fruit themed parts of the fun house. Ooh, that'd be pretty hype. I'd love that. A part, you say? <laughs> now then, allow me to explain already. <laughs> Ta-da! This is Strawberry House in its entirety. Okay, so if I had to guess, um, we're maybe on the top floor. Yeah, we're on the top floor. We're on the third floor. We have to make it through the second, through the first, and then that yellow ring is where the boss is. Because that's how video games work. Oh. I thought we were already at the- I thought we were in the yellow ring. But I guess your idea probably- I feel like we're on the sense. third floor. Um, you're also right, given that sense. this stuff on the bottom half of the room probably fits the layout. Oh, the you're right, room. you're right, you're right. Yeah, actually. That's what I attempted okay, to Okay, so what are we gonna encounter? It looks like there's a bathroom in the bottom. Are those best floors? On the first floor. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, those look like... I don't know, they look like cottages or like bedrooms of some sort. They kind of look like that bullet. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, bullet bill. Yes. A bullet bill. Wow, oh, that's so funny. Um, yeah, I don't I don't really know. Or like honest, tables though. or something? Like a kitchen. But regardless, we have to make it to the bottom, I think, and yes. then get to this yellow circle, which I assume is like our target destination, because probably we're going to run into some sort of like yeah. large challenge. Yeah. All right. You are currently at the indoor park located on the third floor. Nice job. Of course, we just spent so long theorizing where we were and everything. And <laughs> we like, oh, I think the place is like, correspond yeah. to... As you can see, there's a lot of playground equipment with strawberry designs. How fancy! Now then, next is the second floor. There's a lounge that's perfect for freshing up, and I've got- I've prepared five guest rooms that are lined up like BOOM! 
Oh. The guest <laughs> rooms are divided up by quality grade. Huh? The deluxe room is soundproof and has excellent air insulation. The standard room may have so-so insulation, but it's still pretty decent. And the crummy room has severe airflow and draft problems. Okay. Interesting. That concludes my explanation of the second floor. Last but not least, the first floor of Strawberry House. Someone is not making it past the second floor. I know, agree. Someone is not going to make it past the second floor. On this floor, there's a room called the Final Dead Room. That's all like, boom. The Final Dead Room. Boom. So exciting. So enticing. You can enter the Final Dead Room at any time, but be extra cautious when you pick the difficulty setting. What? Uh -huh. <clears throat> I feel like it's some sort of like ending minigame to get out. Yeah. On the same floor, there's a hallway called Strawberry Hall, and when you pass through it, there's a truly strange, enormous tower standing tall with a boom boom. It's called Strawberry Tower. Please use your own two feet to get a feel for what the inside of Strawberry Tower is like. Uh -huh. I'm very confused. This concludes the tour, but I think it was difficult to understand with my warty explanation. So you should all use your own two feet to explore the inside of the building. Mm -hmm. That's all for me. Any questions? Maybe Strawberry Tower is a connection to other towers or something like that? Yeah, like other parts of the funhouse. It was right. a different color. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, we have questions, obviously. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Really, really? What's your question? Really? <laughs> To bring us to a place like this, what are you planning to make us do this time? <clears throat> That's right, I have a lot of questions, but let's start with that one first. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, didn't I explain it to you? <clears throat> this is the motive this time. Wow. An escape game! Yeah, that doesn't surprise me though. Yeah. Wow, they just like, skip Threw free right time. right into it, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> escape game? The concept this time is a closed circle within a closed circle. Like Hope Speak Academy back then, this fun house is a completely closed space. There's only one way to get out of this closed space building. I know. There are a bunch of dead spirits that are holding grudges against their murderer who are creating this place. And to help them, you have to appease them so that they... It's a corpse party reference. Okay, I was like, <laughs> you should have seen my face. I was like, I know you're clearly referencing something else. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, but... When the killing begins, I'll let you guys out when the next killing happens. Oh, so it's heavily inspired by the original killing game. Yeah. Right? Um, no, let the escape game begin. This is another way of saying killing game, yeah. really, in this case. Huh? No, no, no. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that one to Soda. We can't get out of here until the next killing happens? I knew this was a trap, but I never expected it to be so straightforward. <gasps> How foolish of me. If only I'd erected a magic barrier, I wouldn't have had to breathe in that gas. Yo, this is new Gundam art. I know, it's a new art. I know. Let's take a look at it. Let's soak it all in. I love it. He's like actually pretty pissed. Yeah. I let my guard down and ended up falling asleep. So it did work on. Yeah, well. Right? Uh, I mean, that's what Soda's asking. Me. That's what Soda's asking. He's like, oh. why would it work on Like, you? why would gas even work on a robot? That's supposed to be when you make your move. <laughs> gas shouldn't pose a problem, but if they activate my sleep mode, even I won't stand a chance. Huh? Interesting. Sleep mode? I still love that. Huh? Huh? That's right, it's a cutting edge function that puts my other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia. Just press the good night button on the back of my neck, and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. Oh, that's not good. I wonder if that's gonna be relevant to the death. Yeah. Well, what's the point of that function? Didn't I just tell you it puts my other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia? Do you even need to sleep? In order to awaken from sleep mode, I just need to set the alarm in my chest. This is clearly explaining a mechanic that's going to be crucial to the murder. Agreed. It's all possible with just one touch! <laughs> Darn it, he's not even listening. <laughs> he probably wants to live like humans as much as he can, such as the sad nature of robotic organisms. <laughs> At any rate, Monokuma sure stuffed him with a lot of useless functions. <laughs> anyway, Makamoto must have lost consciousness because his button was pressed. I wonder if it's like a remote control button or if it's a directly touched button. If so, who could have done it? He such... said it's on the back of his neck, right? Oh, yeah, you're right. Then who could have done it? 
I'm wondering if, um, based on where he was sitting, they could have, like, in the gas, like, had, like, a little remote, like, finger that just... Maybe he it. was second from the back on the right, from his perspective. So, like, on the inside track, if I recall correctly. Oh, um, okay. And he was next to Tanaka, I think? I think so. I think so. And Komaida was behind him. Oh! Komaida was behind him. But, so, interesting. But Komaida shouldn't know about that. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Komaida shouldn't know about a lot, a of, lot things. of the stuff that he yeah. knows about. Um, but regardless. What a blunder! He must have taken advantage of that white smoke and went around me. Yeah. I'll never let that happen ever again! He says. For now, why don't we look for the exit? Yep. Exit? Is there even an exit? I mean, if there was, this wouldn't be a closed space, right? It'd make Monokuma's motive meaningless. What are you giving up for, Baka? Yeah. <laughs> if we were brought inside this place, then there's definitely an exit out somewhere. Oh, oh that like shaking scream. Yeah. Uh, amazing, a heart that refuses to give up until the very end. That must be hope. <laughs> yes, I understand. Let's explore the inside of this building with that map we got. But exploring on your own is too dangerous. It might be better if we team up with someone. Agreed. I want to team up with Hinata! <laughs> then, Owari, you come with me. Whoa! Well, I think it's because he doesn't think Owari would kill him. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe. I would pick Owari. Huh? Really? Well, who would I Would pick? you really pick Owari? I'd probably pick Nanami, actually. I would pick Nanami. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's an unusual combo. Hey! Sold out in and all the ships. <laughs> <laughs> Could this guy be? Nothing like that, Baka. There's just something I want to talk to her about. Mm, I don't mind. Whatever's fine. Mechamaru's heartbroken. Yeah. <laughs> wow, when you two stand right next to each other, there's a noticeable height difference. Zing! <laughs> Drop it, Baka! Hey, if we're gonna go, let's hurry up and go. Alright, then we'll go on ahead first. Yeah, because he would never cheat on his love. To the part, Pekuyama. his love in his heart, Pekuyama. Yeah. With Pekuyama. those parting words, the two of them left the area. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, Miss Sonia, I guess it's time we also. <laughs> oh! 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 Zing! Oh! Zing! Zing! Sonia already left with Tanaka. That's so funny. Because remember Tanaka yeah, in Tanaka's the very like, beginning? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, there was like one moment where he like kind of hit on he, her, like, flirted with her. Well, he, she complimented his hamsters and he blushed. Oh, yes. That's what Outside of that. That's so funny. But like, oh, That's man. so funny. Huh? Oh, Solda. I feel like Solda's the Solda, Tanaka, Sonia is like a mm -hmm. nice little love triangle they got yeah. going on there. But I feel like it's going to be Solda and Mekamaru. Agreed. <laughs> And then Kamada's gonna be all. Kamada's gonna ask if you're Tina Tony. He's gonna be like, no, no. I want Nanami. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, you got dumped. <laughs> Babaka, I didn't get dumped. Why would I get dumped? In fact, I'm really popular. I'll leave it, Sola. That's obviously not true. <laughs> now then, I think it's time for me to get going too, so. Are we gonna have a Kobahina moment? Kobahina moment? <gasps> Whoa! Oh! Kamada, make it move! Kamada, make it move! Make it move! Oh, Kinata's girl! <laughs> Is he playing hard to get now? I don't know. I don't know, man. I think he tend. I, maybe he's like trying to maybe give Nami like, like collecting all the brain power. Maybe he's kind of like uh, what's it? Kamida's trying to like oh uh, give her the opportunity to say no. I want to go with Hinata. Maybe she. Maybe he's wing Nanny. No, nah, I plan this out. No, I don't think he's wing Nanny. I think he's trying to take up the competition. You think? That's what I would do. Take up the competition. Oh yeah. Like he's trying to kill Nanami. That's what I would do. <laughs> but it's so not what you do. <laughs> I would probably... If you were in a situation like this, we talked about it. You don't need to talk about it, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <That's fine>. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know what the motive is here for choosing Nanami. Other than... Brain power. Brain power. Yeah. Just, like, sheer brain power. Interesting. Yeah. Nanami, would you like to go together? Yeah. Me? <laughs> She's surprised. <laughs> I haven't really had a chance to talk to you, so I thought this would be a great opportunity. <laughs> Then take me with you, too. Three people is okay, right? <laughs> huh? That's fine, but... <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, I get it. Solda's trying to avoid Hinata. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you talking Hinata? about? Avoid Hinata? It's nothing like that. Why would you avoid Hinata? I don't know. Well, what do you mean? Oh, Called Hunch, but maybe Solda can't stop thinking about it, you know? The possibility that you're the traitor. Oh. Um, that is true, I guess. What? <laughs> I was just, I just said what Solda was feeling. <laughs> well, well, you know. 
Truth is, we don't know anything about you, so it's not my fault if I don't trust you. What does that mean? We've been together this whole time and you still don't know who I am? <laughs> like that matters, it's not like I know the real you. Just like how we didn't know anything about Tsumiki. And like how we don't know anything, anything about, about you, you either. <laughs> the real me? Huh? And the only reason we're here is because you were the one who suggested we go to the funhouse, right? Are you saying I lured you guys here? Why would I do that? It's not that far-fetched, you know? Perfect. Yikes. Uh... I'm sorry, Yenta. I really do want to trust you. <sighs> but I just can't yet. That's why I'm going with Nanami. It's not like I want to go with Komaida either. <laughs> but you're saying Komaida's more trustworthy than me? What the heck? Darn it, why did this happen? If that's the case, it is what it is. Why don't you come along with us? So I thought he was going to say, Oh, well, then I'll just go with Hinata. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but... It's fine, Nanami. Just go. <gasps> okay, cute. Aww. Got it. I'll see you later. With that, Solda, Nanami, and Komaida all left together to explore the area. <gasps> I totally forgot about Mekamaru. Oh, I didn't. I knew we were going to end up with Mekamaru. I was like, okay, well, now, because there's an odd number. So I was like, who's going to be like right, the one right. person left? I guess we're the leftovers. Looks like we're not very well liked. Unless you're competitive Pokemon. <laughs> hey. It's not like complaining about we'll change anything. We're just a trainer and a robot after all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the trainer. Oh, that's right. My apologies. Well then, Hirata. Let's show everyone else the value of leftover. I love that. I can't stop thinking about Pokemon. I know. Get a little bit of HP Let's back. magnificently find the exit with our very own hands. If we do that, it will solve everything. Oh my goodness. When people stop trusting you, it seriously sucks. Okay. Wow, okay. So. Now, we will finally start exploring the Strawberry House. Right? Yes. And all the floors it has to offer. All of the... All this, Everything. This mini game. All the I'm, things. I'm sad about no free time. I know, no free time. We might get a little bit of free time. Maybe we'll get time. like one we'll as we like. I'm sad about no teaming the... up with Nanami, not even teaming up with Komaida, but it's alright, we'll get some quality time with Mecha Yeah, it'll be good. Well, it'll be good. I like can't, can't go wrong. Okay. Right? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> 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 but, anyways, we'll see all that in the, the next, next episode. episode. Sorry, this episode went a little bit long. I'm sure you guys probably enjoy it. Yeah, I'm sure you don't it's mind. It's weird from a consistency standpoint, but regardless, we'll see you guys next episode. But until then, this is Movie Night Zero. And Lizzie. And this mission is complete.